Hello everybody and welcome back to today's tutorial. My name is Shidia Bere. Um, in today's tutorial, we will be looking at how to enable geocoding API and reverse geocoding. Uh, what is geocoding API? Some of us may ask. Uh, simply go to this particular URL here. Uh, let's let me paste it where you can see it. So this URL, type it into your browser and navigate to it, it will bring you directly to this particular page here. So over here, you can see that geocoding is the process of conversing, converting addresses into geographic coordinates, latitude and longitude, just like we did in our getting our user's uh, physical location. And reverse geocoding is the process of converting uh, those coordinates which you get when you query uh, when you ask uh, for it through Google Map, you get latitude and longitude. Uh, the process of converting that latitude and longitude into human readable address or addresses is what we know as reverse geocoding. So, without wasting much of your time, for you to be able to enable this, you need to go to this particular address here. So, let me paste it so you can see it and know what you have to type. So for you to enable geocoding API and reverse geocoding API, go to this particular address here. I, this is where I am here. It will bring you to something like this or something similar. Make sure you have your app selected. The name of our app over here is called Reflex Application, uh, short form of uh, flexible ride, although it's alternated. Um, over here, on our, in here, we want to select our project here. So it's part of my recent project and uh, the ones that I start and all my projects. So my most recent project is this. So I'll click on this and uh, just to make sure that uh, this is still 2D29A. Let's make sure this is what I selected. Uh, why is it hanging? So I just want to make sure that I selected the right project. This is 2D29A, the name of my application here. And uh, this is it, 2D29A. So that's the right project. Uh, this is it. So we want to enable um, geocoding API and reverse geocoding API. So click on libraries and uh, search for geocoding. This is it here. And don't forget, this is where we enabled our map as the uh, API for us to be able to search. So this is it. Convert addresses into geographic coordinates, which you can use to place marker or position the map. This API also allows you to convert geographic coordinates into an address. This is for reverse geocoding. So we, I click on this and uh, click on enable so uh, you remember we generated an API key during the course of our of this project when we are starting it up we generated an API key which we <clears throat> which we are going to be using throughout our throughout this tutorial so I've enabled it and for me to test whether this is working um, we have to, let's copy this example of how to, this is the URL we can call for us to get this uh, particular, uh, okay, this is it here for reverse geocoding. Let's try out reverse geocoding. So I copy this just to test out whether our app is working. But before I do this, let's go back and make sure just for me to show you something you have to make sure you have billing enabled. If you don't have billing enabled, you will not, you might not be able to 
uh, use this uh, API. So go over to this hamburger button and select billing, select billing here, and it will take you directly to uh, our billings page. So let's wait for it while it loads. And while it's loading, let's quickly paste this. So this is the latitude and longitude we want to search for. And, and this is the API key. Uh, it's requesting for our API key here. So um, I've copied out my API key before now, and I stored it uh, inside. Um, where did I store it? OK, map config. So this is my API key here. So I copy it. I copy this API key and I replace it with this. So I paste it here. So mine should work. Okay, you see, this is New York. Uh, this, 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 this is the name of the street. This is neighborhood and so many things. So let me just alter this by placing a, uh, by putting two instead of three and click on enter. So you see where it took me, Fire Island, Brooklyn, Suffolk County. <clears throat> okay, let me change this a little bit and add two. So this is Mass uh, Massachusetts, uh, area so with this we can be able to get this information and display it to our users so back to this um this is i already have billing enabled that's why i'm able to see this if you don't have billing enabled they are not going to bill you except you use uh you start making use of uh, enterprise uh uh what's it called enterprise futures it's just to make sure that uh, once you start using enterprise features, they can be able to build you. But for this project, you can see that my cost is still on zero and they've not charged me anything. So <clears throat> for you to enable your billing, go over to payments. Oh, payment overview. So if you have, have enabled it, that's why it's showing this. But if you've not enabled it, you, you, are, you will see some kind of prompt. Just follow the prompt and uh, select anything they ask you to select and uh, enter your credit card details and all those stuff like that. And assign the other particular. I think I will look for one of my accounts to do that tutorial. Or you can come over to this place and do Google Cloud billing tour. It should walk you through the process of how to enable billing. So once this billing is enabled, then you will be able to perform things like this. So let's see uh, latitude and uh, longitude of Lagos State. So, Um, so I want to see the latitude and the longitude. So let's copy the latitude first and then add it to this place. Where's the latitude? Lat lang latitude and longitude. That's the meaning of this lat lang. So, uh, we can click on enter to see what it where it takes us. It takes us to Colombia. Then uh, let's add this particular one and uh, change this. This is minus, so change ours to this and click enter. So it takes you to Lagos, Nigeria. If I change anything here, this is um, this is Lagos, Nigeria. That's where it takes you to directly. And uh, let's say I change something like uh, like this from four to five, and click on enter. It's still in, within Lagos, Nigeria. 
and I change this to 7 or 8 or 9. Now it takes me to Lekki, which is still within Lagos, Nigeria. So this is how to use this uh, API. In our next tutorial, we will be using this feature directly within our application. Don't forget, for you to be able to see all this, get information which I'm using, go to this documentation here, and for you to enable the API, go to this particular one. This is where I copied this. We have the, uh, the geocoding request here, a response, and we have the reverse geocoding. The reverse geocoding is what I used. In our next tutorial, we will be look, using this feature directly within our ride sharing application, which is this right here. So thank you. See you in the next tutorial.